How is it going, Databytes? There's no date here. Welcome back to another episode of Roblox Murder Mystery 2. Today on Murder Mystery 2, we are going to be doing yet another top 10 video, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. It's been a while since we've done a top 10 just on this channel in general. So yeah, very exciting to be doing yet another one. And in this video, we are going to be counting down the top 10 chromas. Now, in case you guys don't know what chromas are, they were added around when Season 1 came out. There were a couple of chromas before then, but they really started to come about during season one you can get chromas by opening cases but the chances of getting them are extremely extremely low i would say at least one in ten thousand the chances are extremely low you have to be super lucky to ever even like see a chroma let alone unbox one and basically they are reskins of the original gollies except they change colors so for example the seer you know the seer is usually green a chroma seer would change into pretty much all the colors. It would change to red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then back to red. So it would just keep changing color. And the chroma knives are the most expensive items in Murder Mystery 2. They have super good demand and extremely, extremely high value. Even the stuff that are completely unobtainable cannot compare to these unboxable chromas. So yeah, guys, in this video, we are going to be counting down the top 10 chromas. So a couple rules before we start this countdown. First of all, this is my opinion. Uh, this is not necessarily value-based. This is completely my opinion, and I'm going to make this list based on how it improves the original weapon. So for example, Chroma Gemstone. Does the gemstone changing colors, does that enhance the look of the gemstone? That's what's mainly going to be put into consideration while making this list. But it's also going to be dependent on just the looks of the godlies in general. Obviously, if I just like the look of normal laser then chroma laser is probably going to be pretty high on the list so yeah if you guys are excited for this episode of murder mystery 2 then be sure to drop a like on this video it helps out a whole lot also guys if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe for more murder mystery 2 videos and giveaways in the future anyway without further ado let us begin the countdown at number 10 we have the chroma death shard now you can get the chroma death shard from knife box one again the chances are extremely low the death shard was a always kind of okay in my opinion you know it has a nice little handle it's got a nice design i suppose and basically it's just the average everyday death shard except the white part of the knife changes color so the black handle is still exactly the same but the actual knife portion changes color not too much to say about the chroma itself and honestly just looks really nice in my personal opinion and yeah pretty good way to start off the list at number nine we have the chroma gemstone now the gemstone is always special to me because this was the first ever golly that i unboxed and the gemstone is the first ever season one golly and again pretty much all of the chromas came from this season one update chroma bone blade and chroma ginger blade existed uh prior to season one but in the season one update it kind of gave you all the classic chromas chroma seer chroma ties chroma laser you know pretty much all the other chromas are from season one so the gemstone is pretty special in that regard so the gemstone is pretty cool much like the death shard the handle is exactly the same but the actual knife portion of the knife changes color but other than that not too much to say when it comes to the chroma gemstone uh, it has definitely dropped in value recently, the Chroma Gemstone, uh, rumor has it the Chroma Gemstone has been quite duped recently, which is, uh, kind of a shame. Or maybe just a lot more people go for Mystery Box 1, I don't really know. But yeah, not too much to say about the Chroma Gemstone otherwise. At number 8, we have the Chroma Laser. Now, in my opinion, the Chroma portion of the Chroma Laser is what makes this gun so cool. The original laser is kind of okay. It's a nice little red gun. I haven't really cared that much for it personally. But the Chroma Laser is basically the same laser gun, but the red parts completely change color, which is honestly super cool. So yeah, once again, I'm making this list based on how the changing colors enhance the knife and chroma laser is definitely one of them again i don't really care for the normal laser all that much but in my personal opinion the chroma laser just looks sick because of those changing colors it definitely makes the laser look a lot more futuristic when it changes color which i'm pretty sure the futuristic look is what the laser was going for in the first place but the changing colors definitely just enhances it so much more at number seven we have the chroma tides now tides itself is already a really cool knife it's a nice bright blue knife very high in demand and what i like about the chroma tides is honestly just how unique it is like the original tides it's a 
pretty cool design, I guess, but it's all blue. Not too much to say about it. But when it comes to the chromatides, basically only the handle changes color and a little bit of the side of the knife. But the knife portion itself doesn't really change all that much. Now, obviously, the chroma bone blade did something similar, but I don't know, man. When it comes to the tides, it just looks a lot better. I like how the waves change color along with the handle that honestly just looks super cool. And the actual knife portion of the knife, while it doesn't change color, it also doesn't look all that blue either. Either. Like, Tides just looks completely blue, but I don't know, I don't really see much blue in the Chroma Tides, so I feel like it makes it a lot more unique. So yeah, in my opinion, the Chroma Tides look super cool. At number 6, we have the Chroma Shark. Now, once again, this is one of those guns that I really didn't care about all that much prior to the Chroma version of it. Again, the original Shark never really appealed to me all that much. It's an okay gun. It looks kind of cool. I like the sort of shark design that it's going for. Obviously, it kind of looks like a shark. But I don't know. The original Shark never really interests me all that much. But when it changes color, it looks so much cooler. So with the Chroma Shark, basically everything that was previously red, now it changes color. And honestly, it looks a lot cooler. So yeah, Chroma Shark, super cool. It definitely enhances the original Shark by quite a bit. At number 5, we have the Chroma Seer. Now, what was super cool about the original Season 1 update was that you were able to craft a bunch of different color Seers. You could get the Red Seer, you could get the Purple Seer, you could get the Blue Seer, the Orange Seer, the list goes on and on. And by doing this, you had the extremely low chance to get a Chroma Seer. Now, because it costs so much to craft a color Seer, uh, the chances of getting a Chroma Seer is probably a lot higher. It's probably a lot higher than the normal, like, Chroma unboxings, but Chroma Seer is still a very rare knife. And basically, it's just a Seer that changes color. And honestly, that is super cool. The handle also changes colors a little bit, along with the eyes. Honestly, when you're holding a Chroma Seer, it just feels like you're holding all of the color Seers at once. <laughs> Because it literally changes color. Like, you're holding a red seer, and then it suddenly changes into an orange seer, and then into a yellow seer, and then it changes back to an original green seer, and it's just so cool to basically hold all of the color sears at once. And that's what's really cool about the Chroma Seer. It is honestly just super satisfying to watch it change color. At number four, we have the Chroma Heat. Now, to be completely fair, there's really not too much to say about the Chroma Heat. Uh, the original Heat has a nice low orange color that sort of look like flames. And basically, with Chroma Heat, those flames uh, change color, along with the handle a little bit as well. So why is Chroma Heat so high on the list it just honestly looks super sick <laughs> to be fair chroma heat just looks straight up awesome so yeah super cool knife extremely valuable at number three we have the chroma luger now currently according to the value list the chroma luger is the most valuable weapon in the entire game granted chroma lightbringer and darkbringer currently aren't on the value list so maybe they're more valuable i don't really know but currently chroma luger has a value of 12 thousand seer so that is absolutely crazy chroma luger is one of the best items in the entire game when it comes to the chroma luger literally all of it changes color <laughs> just straight up every single portion of the chroma luger changes color to some degree and lugers are honestly just super cool there have been many different lugers throughout the history of murder mystery 2 we have the normal Luger, the Ginger Luger, the Red Luger, the Green Luger, the Luger Cane. But honestly, Chroma Luger just takes the cake when it comes to the best Luger. It is literally a Luger that changes to a bunch of different colors. That is honestly super cool. And once again, this thing is extremely, extremely valuable. At number two, we have the Chroma Darkbringer, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very new godly. In the recent update last week, the Chroma Darkbringer got added to the brand new mystery box too and it is honestly a super sick godly the dark bringer by itself is a very sick godly but then when you have the red parts of it change color it is honestly so much cooler this is probably one of the rarest and most expensive items in the game at the moment because it's a brand new chroma 
probably not a lot of people have it yet and it honestly just looks super sick anyway guys before we get to number one we are going to do some honorable mentions but first obviously is the chroma lightbringer now obviously this is a lot like the chroma darkbringer but it's basically light instead of dark and the chroma lightbringer is honestly super cool but i don't know it felt kind of lame just to put both of them on the top 10 list so I kind of just put one in second place and that was Darkbringer. Chroma Darkbringer just looks a little bit better. Chroma Slasher. This is the rarest knife in the game. Obviously there's guns and pests to consider, but Chroma Slasher, currently the best knife in the game. Slasher honestly just looks super sick and Chroma Slasher does look sick as well. But I don't know, the color change just isn't as significant to really enhance the slasher all that much. I just feel like the color changes just really aren't as noticeable, especially when you compare it to something like Chroma Heat and Chroma Luger. The Chroma Saw. Honestly, I love the Saw. Like, Saw is just one of my most favorite gollies in Murder Mystery 2. But much like the Chroma Slasher, the color change just doesn't really change the Saw all that much. There really just isn't a huge noticeable difference between normal Chroma Saw and Chroma Saw. Chroma Fire Bat. Now, the Chroma Pets are like the best weapons in the game, period. Ironically, the pets are just better than the knife. On the value list, the best item in the entire game is Chroma Fire Bunny. Now, honestly, in my opinion, I feel like pretty much all the Chroma Pets look the same. Honestly, I just feel like all the pets look the same. Like, they're all kind of square-ish. And that's kind of the one issue that I had with the Season 1 update was the change the pets they just all look super similar now they're all squares i don't know i kind of just liked the original pets where they were all just kind of unique you know but honestly the chroma pets do look pretty cool but if i had to pick a favorite out of them it would definitely be the chroma fire bat just because that one flies <laughs> the chroma bone blade now this was the first ever chroma to ever be in murder mystery 2 so you gotta give some respect to the chroma bone blade for that there's really not too much to say about it it's really just the handle that changes color uh there are a couple of scratches that do change color a bit but generally the knife stays the same but again you do have to give the chroma bone blade some credit for being the first ever chroma if the chroma bone blade never existed then hey the other ones might not have existed either and of course we got to give at least a little bit of credit to the chroma ginger blade now this is the cheapest chroma in the game if you want to get a chroma of any kind this is kind of the place to start it's really nothing compared to the value of other chromas but if you want to have a chroma just to sort of flex then the chroma ginger blade is pretty good for you in terms of looks there's really not too much to say about it it's basically just the candies that change color it looks okay i guess but it really doesn't look all that different from the original ginger blade and last but not least ladies and gentlemen at number one it's Chroma Fang. You guys already know that it's Chroma Fang. If you've watched this channel for a while, you guys already know that I just love Fang. Like, Fang is my favorite knife in Assassin, and the Chroma Fang is just my favorite knife in Murder Mystery 2. Like, straight up. Chroma Fang just looks awesome. Like, Fang in general just looks sick. I just love its design. I love its bright red color. But then when it starts changing color with the Chroma Fang, it honestly just looks so much cooler. And pretty much the entire Chroma Fang changes color. Some portions of the handle don't change color, but some portions of the handle does and honestly i just feel like that enhances the chroma fang i feel like if the entire handle changed color then it wouldn't be as cool but if none of the handle changed color then it also wouldn't be as cool i just feel like the balance with the color changing in the handle it just looks perfect and of course the entire knife portion of the fang changes color completely and it just looks sick so yeah most of you guys are probably not all that surprised that number one is chroma fang but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this countdown it was honestly super fun to make comment down below what your personal favorite chromas are and other than that that is going to be it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching this episode of roblox murder mystery 2 don't forget to like comment subscribe and others other things that youtube people do and i will see you guys in the next video Stay purple.